In this video, we'll discuss how to set access and permissions in your hierarchy. As always, we recommend you follow along in your own workspace so you'll be able to give your users the access and permissions they need to be successful in ClickUp. Let's start by taking a look at sharing. Setting access and permissions in the hierarchy is a great way to demonstrate the waterfall effect where the permissions and access flow down to the lower levels. So let's start at the space level. When I access a space's settings, you'll see sharing and permissions, and you'll see all the people this space is shared with. At the space level, you can make the entire space private. Once the space is made private, only the people you choose will have access to it. After sharing the space with those people, everything in the space will be visible to them, but remain private for everyone else in your workspace. However, admins can manage these private spaces if the option is enabled in the space's settings. So as a best practice, if information is confidential, consider making a space private and sharing it only with the members who need to see it. If your teams need to work together and access the space, keep it shared with your entire workspace. Members can always hide them as needed. To give access to specific team members, type in their name or email and toggle on their access. Next, you can choose what level of permission you want to grant them in this location. Going one level down, you can also go to the folder. Even though this space is private, you can still share this folder with your workspace or make it private or public and invite specific people or teams. And you can continue down the hierarchy to the list or even the task level and make it private or share it with your workspace. Team members will only be able to see what's been shared with them. Next, let's talk about permissions. When you're sharing locations with users and teams and giving them access, you also have more granular control over the permissions that you provide for them. Starting at the bottom, there's view only, which means the person can only see what's in the location and cannot interact with it. Next is comment, where the person can comment or update tasks, however they can't edit in settings. Moving up from comment to edit, this is a big jump in permissions. Edit permissions allows a person to edit tasks and change the settings of the location. However, they cannot create their own tasks. They have control over any information in the tasks that they need to update. Finally, full permissions allows a person to do everything that their role has established for them to do, including editing, sharing, or deleting, unless otherwise specified from the security and permissions settings. And when it comes to the waterfall effect, permissions work similar to access. If somebody has full access to a space, they can do everything their role allows them to do across the entire space and all lower locations in this hierarchy, unless they're given different permissions at the lower levels. As a best practice, consider giving edit permissions to all members who are collaborating on your projects together. Give your process owners or project managers full permissions so they can do everything they need to streamline workflows. When reviewing who has access to a location, you can invite anyone that is within or outside of your organization. When inviting a team member to your workspace, they'll usually appear in the list here. You can toggle their access and permissions on. When inviting someone who isn't in your workspace, ClickUp will notify you that the person or email isn't a member yet. You can then choose to add them as a new member to your plan or add them as a guest. Guests are people who are typically outside of your organization, similar to a client, contractor, freelancer, or even a vendor. And guests are invited into ClickUp for many different reasons, especially if they need to collaborate with your team or get visibility into specific work. About guests, guests cannot be invited into spaces in the hierarchy. However, they can be invited into folders, lists, and tasks. Your ClickUp plan and the number of seats that are included in your plan determine the number and types of guests that you can invite, and you can always manage them within the Guests tab of People Settings. Let's talk about some best practices with guests. First, if you need to interact and collaborate with them openly and you want them to respond to you, invite them as a guest with any permission other than view only. Next, if you want a guest to just have visibility into your work, try adding them as view only. This is always free and you can add an unlimited number of free view only guests. As long as your team feels comfortable with outsiders seeing your work, you have the freedom to add as many view only guests to your locations as you'd like. 
Which brings me to my final best practice, which is to remember to periodically review and manage guests within people settings. This was discussed in an earlier course. However, it is very important because you can choose to remove guests as needed within the guests tab of people settings, which is only available for admins. In this video, we demonstrated how to set access and permissions in your hierarchy, along with the waterfall effect that it can have. We also covered best practices around guests. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and try it out for yourself by giving others the access to specific locations, configuring permissions, and inviting guests to your workspace.